Hello everyone, we are going to have another adventure today. Welcome to Atalaya Castle. Atalaya Castle was built by Arthur Huntington and his wife Anna between 1931 and 1933. Arthur designed the house to be a winter residence for him and his wife after she was diagnosed with tuberculosis. Have fun and enjoy the tour! And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button with the bell on to get notified on my next videos. Leave your comments down below and give it a thumbs up! The castle has 30 rooms laid out around three sides of a courtyard. In the center of the courtyard, surrounded by native plants, is a water tower that is 40 feet tall after which the house was named. Atalaya means watchtower in Spanish. Various other areas included indoor and outdoor studios for Anna to work on her art and animal enclosures where they kept bears, horses, monkeys, and a leopard. The house was situated on the ocean within an estate that originally consisted of over 9,000 acres of mixed land. They used part of that acreage to build the first public sculpture garden known as Brook Green Gardens to showcase Anna's work. Archer insisted that the house be built by local laborers to help boost the economy of the region during the Depression years. They employed many local people to work at the house and gardens as well and were known as very good employers.
During World War II, the Huntingtons left Atalaya and let the United States Air Corps use it as a barracks. The men patrolled the beach and operated a radar unit from the house. Other than a crashed plane on the beach, the house was unaffected. The Huntingtons returned to Atalaya in 1946 and 1947. After that, Anna's studio was moved to another portion of the property in Brooklyn Gardens, and the rest of the furnishings that were not donated elsewhere were sent to Connecticut after the death of Arthur in 1955. Anna visited the house again only two more times in 1956 and 1958. In 2,500 acres of the former estate, including the house and sculpture garden, was leased for free to the state of South Carolina. Huntington Beach State Park was formed and now maintains the house and grounds and offers guided tours during part of the year. For the past 37 years, an art festival has been held on the grounds in September every year. Atalaya Castle was placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1984 to preserve the history of Anna Hyatt Huntington and her husband Arthur Huntington. It remains a unique and vital piece of South Carolina history.
So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the tour. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button with the bell on to get notified on my next videos. Thank you for watching.